Hi everybody, today we're going to do a chair and Revit Inventor for our basics. So let's go in with a standard IPT and click create. Okay, now what we're going to do now, we're going to do a different type of uh, sketch. It's going to be a 3D sketch. So uh, what we like to do now to start this guy off, we want to go to our start this time we're going to go to 3d sketch and we should have done this let's make this origin at home view and then we want to go and do our line command and we get this guy opens up here that's our origin so now we want to drag the draw panel down and select the precision input so once the precision input is selected we want to go and select the X and go 0, tab 0, tab 0, and select enter. And that's our first point, our origin point. And then the next point, we're going to go with uh, 12, tab 0, tab 0, enter. There's our first line. And then we'll go again, we we'll go 0. Tab 0, tab 20. We go enter. Let's just have a look at what we're doing here. Now, <clears throat> we want to select our X again. We want to go 0, 18, oh, tab 18, tab zero select enter so just follow along we should be okay next we want to go back into our X and our precision input this time we're going to go zero tab zero tab minus 22 select enter then we go again we'll go with uh, 0 tab 18 tab 0 select enter and then we want to go with uh, this time minus 12 tab 0 Tab zero, select enter. And let's go, go zoom out. So there's our profile. So we want to, at this point, we want to right click the mouse button and say OK. And then we want to go on to our mirror on the pattern, our, our 3D sketch mirror pattern, select it. <clears throat> They want to drag select the box here, pick these all up. You want to click the mirror pattern on the dialog box. And then we want to go to our project browser and select the YZ plane and click apply and done. So now we want to go here now and we want to select the bend tool and right here we want to go a three and so let's bend all these edges so just go around here and then just right around here I'm gonna try to knock this one out in one video may come back I don't know just to see how we go you guys seem to like the shorter videos but mine are commercial free so it shouldn't be a problem <laughs> shouldn't say that those guys get paid for it okay now we have all of our our bends in let's do a quick check okay now once we have those in we want to do a right click on the mouse button and we want to say okay now once we do this, we want to go on a 3D, 
3D ribbon and where it says fix, we want to go in and place a point right here on this point. And now we want to add dimensions. So let's go in here and let's just go Just do half of these because the other is is symmetrical. One here and one here. <clears throat> now we have that done. Now we added dimensions to, to define the sketch fully. So okay, now we can go in and let's do our finished sketch. Now on the 3D ribbon, on the ribbon, click 3D model work features plain normal points. So let's go here, 3D model work plain features. And we'll open this down. And we'll go to normal axis through point. So we'll go to here, normal axis through point. And then we'll zoom here, we'll select this line and we'll select this point here. Then we'll click it and we'll create a sketch. So let's zoom in here. <clears throat> so now we want to create two concentric circles right here. So let's go in our circle, pick a point here, and make this uh, 1.250 and then let's do another circle let's make this one enter okay now we want to add dimensions from the sketch order to the pos position of the circle so let's zoom this out there's our origin point so let's go dimension this point up to that point there's that one and then we want to do this point to this point again and we want to pull this up to here <clears throat> now let's click finish sketch Oop. That was nice. It put me right there. So now we have this done here. So now we want to go and we want to use a new command here. And we want to use a sweep. So we'll select the outer loop of this feature, of this concentric circle we've created. We select the outer loop. And then we'll select the sketch to define the sweep path. And there's our frame of our chair. And then we'll just go right here and we'll say, OK. Um, hmm, why is it saying that? We'll say yes. We we'll want to continue. Look on my side for doing that. Now, you want to start a new sketch. Start a sketch on a YZ plane. So let's go and go to our YZ plane here. In the project browser, select it. And then we want to select new sketch. And now once we're here, we want to go to the bottom of the screen here. And we want a slice graphics icon. This is called slice graphics here. We want to select that. And it basically cuts it in half. So we want to draw two more circles right about here. So let's go two concentric circles. Same size. One, oh, sorry. I'm going to go 
1.25 and then we do another one at 1. Okay. Now we need to dimension these two fellas here. We want to do a dimension from this point here to the origin point there. This has got to be 18. Okay, then we do another point from here to here. This one will be 16. And then we'll uh, finish our sketch. Okay, now we want to activate the extrude tool and click the outer loop of the circle here. So let's go into our extrude tool, and we want to grab this outer loop. There we have it. Now we want to go and do our two. Oh, we want to go our two. One second, let me do this again. Sorry. I always get twisted up with this part. We'll go to our extrude. We want to select the outer loop. Just the outer loop. There. And we want to go R2. And then we want to select this arm here. And then we go select our selection feature and go to that one. And then we'll just say here we want a minimum solution on it and we have it on. So let me just double check. Okay, minimum solution is on. And then we'll say okay. Okay. Now let's take this on a little farther here. Now we want to create a uh, we want to create an along a curve of pattern. So on the browser, we're going to right click mouse. We want to do a right click on the 3D sketch here. And here we want to um, select the visibility here. Okay, now we want to go and do a pattern, a rectangular pattern which is this one here. Select that. Now we want to click on our extruded feature. And now here we have this guy on, so we want to click the direction button here. And then we want to click on our sketch. Now here we want to type in three. And our column count here, this will be 23. And then our spacing will be at distance. And then we want to dip these, double click these two arrows right here. <clears throat> And we want to select identical. Our orientation will be direction one. And then we'll click OK. OK, now we want to create a, uh, now, now let's go back on our browser window and right click the mouse button on 3D Sketch again. And we want to check visibility so that turns off the annotations. So now we want to go a little farther here. We want to create uh, the freeform feature here. So now what we want to do here is we want to go on the ribbon 3D model work features here and we want to select plane and select plane. 
Now on the browser window here, let's select XZ. Now let's click the top portion of our of our chair here. <clears throat> and then we want to select it. And we want to do a start a sketch. So now at this point, we want to add a point here. So we want to go and place a point. So let's select point and let's place a point right here. Now we have our point placed. We want to add a dimension from here to here. Let's just make this a 10. Let's make this 10 inches. Select enter. And now we're going to finish this sketch. OK, now on the ribbon, we want to go to 3D Model Create Freeform Box, which is here. Now we want to select this plane here. And we want to select this, and that's going to be our refined location. And we want to just drag this guy up and drag it out. This is going to be our cushion. This is just a free form here. So we can adjust this. Uh, let me see. Tell you what I'll do. I'll just use this. I'll go for here. Let's make this 28 and a half. Whoops. Make this 28.5. This one will be the height. Is, let's make it say three and a half inches. Okay, now I'm going to say uh, make the faces. Let's make four faces on this guy. Uh, let's give it one here for the whip and two. Now let's click OK. There's, that looks good, I think. Yeah, let's say OK right here. OK, now, now let's go and do some editing here. Let's go to Freeform. edit form here and we can go in here and uh, we can move it around a little bit here I think uh, I like that I don't want to go too much into this <clears throat> uh, I think that's good enough folks what do you think I mean but here you can play around with this but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it as is. That's 10. Uh, mm, I think it looks OK. Um, let's see. Let me drag it down and out. Let's just make this. Let's just go right here. Let's say 1.687. Seven five. Let's see what happens. And get finished. Okay, I can live with that. Now I'm going to go right now and just say I'm going to finish this sketch here. And there's our chair.
Now let's go and try to do the back of this thing. Okay, we're really doing it. Um, okay, so let's go work with freeform and let's go back to our plane again. And we go with where it says uh, plane. We want to go on a browser window, and this time we want to go with our XY. And let's click the, it's the vertical form here. There. I hope we got it. Did we get it? Yes. So what that does, it places a tangent to the feature. So that's good. So now we want to uh, select it, and then we want to start a new sketch. And again, let's add us a point. Uh, let's go add a point here. And let's place it right about there. And we can dimension it from, there it is, great. And we'll make this 30. Okay, my chair's a little crooked, but too bad. <laughs> okay, now we wanna go to uh, finish sketch here. And then we want to go to our free form box again. Now this time, let's just make this easy and simple like this. Uh, So let's make our length, width, and height. So our length will be, let's try this, 27. This will be 16 and 3. Okay, let's go back here a minute now. Oh, let's try that again. We go to freeform box. <clears throat> oh, so we didn't select the plane here. Let's see if we can do this now. Seven, sixteen, 16, and 3. There we go. And we'll click OK. And finish our sketch. And then we can right click here and check visibility. So there's our chair, folks. We can do this as well. So there's a chair and inventor. So, oh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comment section. And hey, let's move on to bigger and better things. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching and welcome all my new subscribers. This is the channel that uses Revit, Inventor, Navisworks. And next video, we're going to throw this in the Revit. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Everybody be safe, and bye.